Now, from the desert's news leader, KESQ News Channel 3 HD at 11. A group of activists is taking on the Church of Scientology right here in Riverside County. Last week, News Channel 3 began its investigative series. We've received hundreds of emails from around the world. Many former Scientologists are now speaking out about their years in the church headquarters. News Channel 3's Nathan Baca joins us now with the latest. Tamara, there are hundreds of Scientologists who live and work inside the world headquarters right here in Riverside County in Hemet. Protests outside the gates are stopped or severely limited by Riverside County Sheriff's deputies enforcing a new ordinance passed by the county supervisors. Tonight, we talked with a man who launched the 1980s marketing campaign to sell thousands of Scientology books, including Dianetics. Jeff Hawkins speaks out for the first time only on News Channel 3. We brought former Scientology marketing director and Portland resident Jeff Hawkins to the local ABC television station where he revealed what happened during his years inside Scientology's world headquarters in Hemet called Int Base. His account of what goes on behind these fences is one of religious punishment and imprisonment. Within that Hemet compound, uh, they work 100-hour weeks, seven days a week. They have no breaks. They have no vacations of any kind. Uh, they work round the clock. They have no private time. Uh, they're paid about 40 cents an hour. Um, and then they're subjected to uh, all kinds of uh, punishments and uh, abuse uh, if they do things that are that are that are wrong or if they don't toe the line they have to run around the buildings um, sometimes for miles in their street shoes they get thrown in the lake out there which is pretty cold at this time of year um, and then if they if they refuse to come around and toe the line and, and be be good members they can go to the these rehabilitation camps that they have in Los Angeles and in Clearwater <laughs> which are virtual prisons, and people have been there for years. And they don't go outside, they don't see anybody, they are paid maybe 10 cents an hour for hard manual labor. They, they make furniture for the churches. They spend part of their time uh, studying Scientology, and the rest of the time they sp spend doing physical labor. And they're not allowed to contact anyone outside of the rehabilitation project force, and they're, they're virtual prisoners. And they stay in dormitories, 30, 40 people to a room with one bathroom. I've been down there. I was actually uh, assigned to the RPF for one day, and then they said it was a mistake. Longtime staff members tell News Channel 3 in base in Hemet was built in the 1970s after L. Ron Hubbard left this La Quinta Cove ranch on Avenida Juarez in Calle Yucatan because he felt it wasn't secure enough. A fellow took, took over the Church of Scientology after Hubbard died, a guy named David Miscavige, who is very, very, uh, authoritarian and very oppressive and he has transformed that international base into really a, a, a sort of cult compound. I, I personally was was physically assaulted on four occasions by the leader of Scientology, David Miscavige. Scientology spokesperson Tommy Davis talked with News Channel 3 at Scientology's Hollywood Celebrity Center and says there's nothing abusive or illegal going on inside the Hemet headquarters. When you have allegations like this that are made um, that, it, that somehow indicate some sort of secretive or, or nefarious something or other having to do with the church or, or that, you know, anything along these lines, uh, you know, it, it's just untrue. I mean, it's ridiculous. Why haven't celebrity Scientologists spoken out about abuses of in-base workers? Hawkins explains why. Tom Cruise has been to the headquarters. Uh, the staff are not allowed to talk to him. And he's been given tours, and I've been on the other end of those, and they're very orchestrated. They're on walkie-talkies, and they say he's going to this building or he's going to that building, and they have certain staff set up and rehearsed in those spaces to give him a certain scripted talk. Now, what happens when a Scientologist tries to leave? Some former members are now sharing their stories of escaping this desert base. We'll have that tomorrow night at 11, only on News Channel 3. And we also have the church's full response on our website, ksq.com, 45 minutes on cut and uh, of our interview with Scientology spokesman. Keeps That's with Tommy Davis, the man right. we heard talking there. That's right. Saying it's ridiculous. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you.